Suffering can be like a purifying fire. It's a strange gift. It burns away false hopes and distractions. University of Kentucky senior diver Chase Lane finds strength in his weaknesses. On paper, the 2018 SEC Freshman of the Year and two-time platform silver medalist appeared to face little adversity in his life. But deep down, like so many others, Chase was feeling overwhelmed with depression and anxiety. Unable to cope any longer, Chase turned to a mentor and friend who guided him towards relationships and love. His weaknesses were made strong. It was time for Chase to leave Kentucky better than how he found it. If you're going to do something, you have to do it to 100% of your capability. A former gymnast turned world-class diver, Chase continued to develop into a top-tier high school performer. He quickly made his way onto plenty of D1 coaches' radar, including Kentucky diving coach Ted Hawtall. Something told me, just kept going, this is the guy, this is your guy, this is the guy. And I just turned my recruiting really in that moment. Whether a coaching intuition, a higher calling, or some combination of the two, Coach Hawtall's added recruiting focus on Chase somehow cut through the noise. The day he committed was an amazing, that was a crazy day. Calls me at like six in the morning and I'm in practice and it's, I mean, real early. I've never had a recruit call me at six in the morning. I woke up around 4.30, bawling my eyes out. I had no idea why. All these thoughts about Kentucky just raced through my head. And it was like just this huge conviction of, you have to go to Kentucky. And I called Ted. I said, hey, Ted, um, I have some bad news for you. You're stuck with me for four years. <laughs> and he laughed over the phone. He was a little bit confused. He's like, what in the world? Did he just like, what? It was his way of saying, hey, I'm coming. I was pumped. I knew if I came here, I'd be taken care of. If anything goes wrong, I'd trust that man to take care of you. But the joys of beginning college quickly faded. Shortly into his first semester at Kentucky, Chase seemed off. Something was different. As we turned into December, it started to kind of like his walk changed. He was looking more, more trouble. I never had freedom, like free time to myself, never had a social life at all. My schedule was full up until nine o'clock. You could just tell that there were some things going on. And he, you know, and he also let it out. He's like, he was like, I'm in a dark place. The struggles really hit um, when I just couldn't handle it anymore. And I started to isolate myself. Chase felt himself needing a new path to follow. Looking for answers, he turned to his coach for guidance and prayer. Trying to rely upon himself all the time was gonna to be tough, but if he could get outside of himself and realize, you know, kind of that, I don't have to control everything, God's got me. He knew that providing me with the word of God, providing me with resources, providing me with just a friendship, a relationship. That's the key word, a relationship. Um, that I was gonna be able to get out of this. Even through his struggles, Chase continued to excel in the pool. He went on to qualify for the NCAA championships in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He is the only freshman in this final. What should have been a positive trip to cap off an impressive freshman campaign ended up being one of the lowest days in Chase's life. I dropped the guys off. We're gonna go back and watch an event. And he's, he's like, can I, stay in the car with you. We're talking and he just starts crawling up, crawls up between and he just comes in and he just lays on me and just cries, you know. And uh, yeah, that was it. You know, that I didn't care about the diving at all. I didn't know how dark he was gonna get that night. I, uh, I called my mom and I remember, <laughs> calling her and saying, Mom, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Thanks for all you did, but I just can't do this anymore. And uh, that's the biggest regret to this day of my life. Um, I see him tweet. I texted him. I said, hey, hey, do you need somebody to talk to? And we just talked, talked about life, talked about what was going on talked about how we could get through this. This is a person that I care about and I'm in this position 
to do whatever it is that I think is the best at this moment in time. For me, that was just talking to him and listening to him and, you know, telling him whatever came to my heart. That was the day that I didn't think for sure I was leaving that place. I was certain and I was determined that I was gonna kill myself. Everything that I thought was right in my life was wrong in that moment. And I remember thinking, I'm not leaving this place. Thanks to his support system, Chase did leave that place. He returned home and received a phone call, one that would give him the resources he needed to help with his mental health. I got a call from Mitch Barnhart uh, a couple of days later, just checking up on me saying, hey, how are you doing? I just want to be in your life. I want to know how I can help you. That meant the world to me. Got me hooked up with a uh, small group on campus. And I went to that small group and I just talked and I shared my story. Wildcats under diving coach Ted Howtow go one and two. A lot has happened in the three years following the 2018 NCAA championships. Chase has gone on to become a three-time All-SEC selection, a two-time SEC silver medalist, and has qualified for the 2021 U.S. Olympic trials. More importantly, he's embraced strategies to better maintain his mental health. As a member of the UK Athletics Student Athlete Advisory Committee, Chase felt another calling. He volunteered to become the chair of the Mental Health Subcommittee. This is what I want to do. I'm determined to let people know that it's okay. I've had a story, you have a story. I want you to share that story to the world. Let them know that it's okay to be vulnerable. Let them know that their weakness is made strong. And let them know that their story is gonna impact somebody else. Has really you know, developed himself and become a champion for, for other athletes. As Chase continues to compete and make an impact on campus in his final season in Lexington, he can't help but be thankful for the school he woke up thinking about that early morning four years ago. University of Kentucky is a place that did save my life. Um, I had people who loved on me, cared about me, showed me resources of how we can get through this. They've invested everything into me, and so I'm gonna invest everything back that I can to make, make this university and this program greater than what it was. A lasting impact through a difficult journey. He was never alone, he had someone something that will last forever. The greatest takeaway that I will have is, honestly, I think that just the relationship with Ted, I think that's gonna last my entire life.